have to have it. It's fine. Are, are you really gonna pour yourself a drink in the middle of this? Are you kidding me? Stop acting crazy. Oh, you did you seriously just call me crazy? I said stop acting crazy. No, you got into crazy one. Caught. No wonder the, why they had you institutionalized. You're insane. Rachel, come on, no, let's not. You're such a hypocrite. You were in the loony bin, not me. But no way you think I'm the crazy one. That I'm just completely off the reservation and you're just hanging out by the barn. Look, Rachel, I did. Oh, I mean, look, Rachel, me, you piece of shit. Rachel, please just can, can you give me a, a, a chance to explain myself? Please. Fine, one chance. Can I sit? Sit. Well, get on with it, Mr. I'm Not Crazy. Us truly insane people have a meeting at the local web cafe in an hour. What's a web cafe? It's a place where people can get on the computer via an internet. Yeah, but people meet there. Richard, here you are sitting here with your one chance and all you want to do is talk about web cafes? No. No, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I just, I came from a homely southern town, and I don't know, I mean, I'm just not comfortable talking about those types of subjects. Are you talking about earlier? What subjects? <sighs> you mean sex? <laughs> oh my god, you do mean sex. I can't believe I was telling my sob stories about screwing around with a bunch of idiots to a guy who's afraid of sex. Not afraid of- Even after we- You're still- Look, I- I'm just- I don't- I get uncomfortable talking about those things in public. I think it's very uncouth. Really? Uncouth? Is that the word of the day? Look, dick. Is that alright if I call you dick? Well- Thank you. Well, there are certain things you need to realize about this world. One, you're gonna die. Two, you're not coming back. And three, everyone else, including me and you, are all giant sacks of genetic material. So it really doesn't matter what any of those fucktards think, because in the end, we all end up thinking the exact same thing. I think that's a morbid way to think about it's it. It's not morbid. It's freeing, knowing that you could just be yourself, because at the end of the day, that's all anyone really wants. Even if they won't say it, trust me, it's what they want. So I should just be myself? Let it all hang out, for lack of better expression. Exactly. Well... Rachel? I... Dick. <laughs> Are you okay? I love you. Oh, God! Oh, that felt great! <laughs> wow! I've been bottling that up, but you're right. I just need to be myself and just let go! Oh, let it go, let it go. <laughs> Why? That's just so freeing. Wow. Oh. Whew. Are you okay? Rachel, I just told you I love you. Be yourself. Very good then. You know, I think I'm gonna fix myself up one of those. Okay. But Rachel, don't you have something to say to me? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. What, what were we talking about again? I love you. Yeah, you, you see, it's just that I... Look, just shoot straight with me here. I mean, you just gave me a whole lecture about speaking my feelings and, and saying what I, what I wanted to say and, and letting go and this ringing any bells. Yeah, you see, um, there's another thing about people I don't think I mentioned just yet. I mean, it's really important. Probably the most important, really. What is it? Well, you know, Rich, um, it's just that most people, uh, even me, we're just sometimes not the best at following our own advice.